Hi guys, this is Chris with City Girl Homestead. So, I had gotten a gift from Karen at Celtic Kiss, and she said she wanted a cherry pie. So, Karen, <laughs> this is for you. Isn't this beautiful? She got me this cast iron pie pan that I really, really wanted. So, we are going to give Karen her pie. And I told her, I said, I will even make my own crust. So, Karen, I hope you're paying attention. <laughs> we're going to make our own crust. So we're going to need two and a half cups of flour. So there's one. And two. a half a cup. Look at that. And then we're going to use a full cup of frozen butter. So I just put it in little pieces and I put it in the freezer for a little bit because you want your butter to be super, super cold. And we're going to pulse this till it starts to come together. This recipe, by the way. <laughs> All right, we're going to use a tablespoon of sugar, and we're going to use three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to pulse that a little bit so it can get it mixed together. Alright, now what we're going to do is I have in here ice water with actual ice in there so that it stays nice and cold. You want to make sure you use cold water for this. So we're going to use six tablespoons of water. I'm going to throw a couple in there first, and then we'll start blending. So there's three, and four, and five. Six. I'm going to give it just a little bit more because you know you trap some along the way. Look at that. Touchdown, we have pie crust. <laughs> All right, let me get the other side of my countertop ready and we'll be back. All righty. Now, Karen, this should show you how much I love you because I'm really bad at rolling out pie crusts <laughs> or anything for that matter. But I'm going to do this for you. So we're going to ro roll out this pie crust, hopefully. <laughs> Someday I'll get good at it, but you know what? I guess I can't get good at it if I don't do it, so. Oops. I just had a piece come off of there. Just a little bit more flour on my rolling pin here. And no, it's not perfectly round, but you know what? It'll work. So I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to put my pan down. I'm going to 
put my crust in there, falling apart and all. It'll be delicious. All that won't matter when you start eating it. So I actually had two cans of my cherry pie filling left from the Dollar Tree. So I guess I need to make a trip out there. Hopefully it's enough to fill it. Because I don't have any cans that I do to myself. So this probably could have used a third can. Most definitely. But that's alright. It'll still be a great pie. Now if I could just send it all the way to Scotland, would be wonderful, right? <laughs> all right, let's get that flour out there. And let's get us a top crust going. I remember my grandma doing these pie crusts and she was such an expert at it and she made the best pie crust. Were you kidding? She made the best pies. My grandma could, she could do it all. What broke my heart is I can't find her recipe and so I think I've lost it and moved somewhere. And it was in her handwriting. I used to save one of her canceled checks that she had. So I can always look at her handwriting. I know that sounds corny and tacky and whatever, but she was a very, she's an incredible woman, really incredible woman. All right, so let's bring her back over here. I know it's not perfectly ruled out because, well, I'm not perfectly good at it. <laughs> We're going to tuck this crust in, and we're going to make it work, you know? It may not be the prettiest crust, and it may not be the prettiest pie, but guaranteed one thing, Karen, it's made in love, I promise you, and it's made with gratitude, but mostly of love. And I love cherry pie, so, <laughs> and so does Tom, so I don't think that'll be a bad thing. And I get to try out my new pan. It's probably not the healthiest thing I've made this week either, but that's okay. Alrighty. So now, I did have that thing that you could roll around, but I don't know what I did with it, so I guess we'll just do it without that. And then, just for you, if I can do this, I'm going to do a little dot here, here, here. I love you, Karen. Thank you. So I'm going to put that in the oven until the pie is done, and then we'll be back, and you can see what it looks like. Alrighty, and there's our cherry pie, and I have to clean the oven because it went over, but there's our cherry pie. There you go, Karen. Y'all have a blessed day. See you at dinner.